Liz She's Bauer. crying. You made her cry, John. Oh, yeah, no, it's no. I don't like cold weather. <laughs> oh. She's on board on the China Sorry. train. <laughs> I'm loving it. Whoop. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't know how to transition from that, but good morning good to you, Good morning. Anderson. Hi. Uh, Liz Fowler is with Savory <laughs> Sweet Foods, founder, chef, Executive oh. chef, and we can throw in other titles as well. The extraordinaire, and uh, every week you come on mm -hmm. and show us how to make a little uh, a standard dish, a little more gourmet, and you share the recipes with Very us. Very simple too. Mm -hmm. Last yeah, week, delicious. We made those breakfast muffins. Was, I guess you could call awesome. them muffins. Yeah, those were so easy. on the go. Yeah, it yeah. makes it easy in the morning when you're in a hurry. So this week we're kind of transitioning into the colder weather. So and the holidays are coming up, and you want the you know meat and potatoes kind of stick on your ribs, kind of especially John's new s snow coming up. This is perfect for it. <laughs> stick so, on the ribs, not the hips. Yeah, you want exactly. <laughs> And that's exactly what we're doing. So we're doing kind of the classic meat and potatoes, but with like a twist of making a little bit of a lighter version, but still getting that comforting flavors and um, textures that you like from your meat and potatoes. So um, I'm excited. Yeah, it's a it's a barbecue meatloaf, and then we're doing a mock garlic um, mashed or mashed potato, sort of a mock mashed looks potato so sort of idea. So um, Can I just skip these ahead are and not. Eat that? By the way, these are not. <laughs> Your uh, pouched potatoes, where you just add the milk and the butter and the water. <laughs> These are homemade. These are real. Exactly. And they're super easy, so anyone can do them. And yes, if you want to try it and let me know what you think, because there, again, there's a twist in it that I want to see if you can tell what's in it. Oh, are we trying first? Yeah, or are you we want, making first? We'll try it and let me know what you think, and okay. then we'll make it Here's and we'll China. give away the we'll ingredients. Do an eat um, off. Do I, are you allergic to anything? No. Is that what you're worried about? No, no, no. They look delicious. Here we go. Yeah. I'm taking a big bite. I'm not subtle. I think there's horseradish in it. I don't know. That's why I'm not on Food Network. Mm. But is this, does no it taste idea. like potatoes? It tastes really it tastes good. Really good. It's, it's not potato. It's, it's cauliflower. It's cauliflower. Wow. Yes. Yeah, it yes, is. Yes, I did it. That was great. <laughs> yeah. It has a little so bit of excited. potato I'm in really there. I'm proud of myself. Can I, can I get it? Yeah, please Wait, try it, it again. Has potato and, and it has a little bit of potato, but it's a one tiny baking potato to one huge head of cauliflower. And so it still gives that creamy texture of a potato, but with about a fourth of the calories of an actual mashed potatoes. Right? I would have you never would never guessed. have known. It's amazing. So, that is amazing. Yeah, we're going to show you how to, now to make these, and they're really easy. Um, I've already gone ahead and you just steam a head of cauliflower with a d um, diced up baked potato with a little bit of chicken broth. Um, you can use vegetable broth if you prefer. Um, and then some roasted garlic, salt, and pepper. So, we're just going to put this in here. Mm, very creative. And then just like you would make normal mashed potatoes, you're going to add some milk. And then some, a little bit of sour cream. You could use light if you wanted this to. Is, Again, this no. is new to me. I, I, I really do just grab the pouch and really? stick it. Yeah. Well, this I've should never convince you because that was amazing. And then this could get messy, and I don't want you to get too to mess. So, do you want to wear an apron? Oh my goodness. Go for it. China, did you want to use? This is a dream come true for yeah. me. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. Believe it or not, I this really. This is like one of my favorite fun tools. Oh. It looks scary, but it looks there also kind of. Oh, thank you. I feel. <laughs> It's good to be. It's good to be me. <laughs> Thank you, China. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I, this is not a flattering look. Maybe I should have taken the suit jacket off. Come on, look, Iron look Chef. This. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. All right. Yeah. So the emulsion blender is super easy to use, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so the button's here, and you just kind of want to go down. Just and then you just kind down. of, yep, just okay. down, and it just kind of meshes everything together. And if you don't have an emulsion blender, you can use Should I try the other way? You should, because <laughs> I'm about to do this. Doing. I'm literally about to. Don't pull it out of the Above the surface there, Michael. Really? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? You just want to keep it You'll low in the mess. pan, otherwise so it'll be messy. So I want to start with it on it? Yep, go ahead and just go ahead and... Whoa! <laughs> Watch out, people. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm at the dentist's <laughs> office. <laughs> That's why we're wearing an apron. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Am I doing this right? Yeah, you're doing it perfectly. And you just do it until it gets completely mashed together. So I am not doing this right. Well, you... It There's it, no way. It's not... <laughs> What am I doing, Liz? You're doing it perfectly. It just takes a while to kind of get it all together. And again, there's not a whole lot in the pot, so. <laughs> you Watch are out. doing it right. Am yeah, I? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it gets down to it, That's and cool. it will get into. Yep. If you just want to. Here, Thank you. There. Thank yep. You. And just new it's set gonna, and all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can, and then it just turns out to be like looking like your normal mashed potatoes. Now, what if you don't have one of these fancy? Things? You can use you can a regular it. hand blender if you wanted to, or if you have like a potato masher, you could do the same thing with the potato masher and just kind of manual um, mashing it that way. Um, so it just this is just sometimes it's a little fun. You can get them actually pretty cheap at like Bed Bath and Beyond or something like that. Mm. Um, they just look fancy, but. 
Um, and then that's the, on Renee's Christmas list, actually. Yeah, she wants that really fun. Desperately. And see, now I gave her a good use to use it for. So. <laughs> no. I'm going to. I'm going to. Well, Santa's going to come through. I, I have nothing to do with Christmas. Exactly. Right, kids. Santa. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> but this is the finished product yeah. here, and, and then uh, it's absolutely delicious. And the barbecue sauce on there as yeah. well. Yeah, and you can actually use turkey too. So the turkey, it's actually turkey meatloaf. Um, and again, once you add all the barbecue and the spices to it, you probably won't even miss the um, beef anymore either. It's Can you do a little bit explaining about the meatloaf? Because mm. I've tried to make meatloaf before and it does not come out right. And I mean, meatloaf for me, it's, it's a nightmare. So what's the trick? Um, you know what? I don't know if there's necessarily a trick. I just like to have, again, I, used to, I like to use turkey, but if you want to do like a half turkey, half beef, just to make it um, kind of subtly move into it. Um, but it's a, it's a great flavor once you add in all the spices and you're just going to, I use it just on a regular baking sheet covered with foil and with nonstick spray and then I just form the meat, um, meat, eggs, breadcrumbs. Um, I use chili powder for a little bit of spice and then the barbecue sauce and it's just, um, you know, kind of form it into like a loaf looking and then you just put it in the oven. It's slow and slow for about 350 for about an hour um, and it comes out usually. Um, wow. It's, it's pretty really easy. Tough. Do you use a meat thermometer in it because I sometimes and not my wife's, of course, but sometimes meatloaf does come out a little dry. And you have to stick. A <laughs> you can use a th meat thermometer. Yep, I would check it a little bit prior to the, um, you know, designated time. So it should be about 160 when it comes out, I believe. So okay. we'll have the recipe for this, yep. though, and it'll be on your blog. right? Yes, and I, I am not. I'm, I was a little uh, behind the eight ball today. It's not up yet, but right at about 7:05, <laughs> go to NorthwestOhio.com/blogs and check it out. I'll have these recipes up. Liz Fowler, savory yeah. sweet foods of Perrysburg. Her food can be found for you to just, you know, let's say you can't make those recipes today, but you want to eat Liz's food, go to Kaz Meyers or Churchill's Markets mm -hmm. in Perrysburg, exactly. the Perrysburg yep, locations, in the Perrysburg locations. And, uh, and you can pick something up and heat it up, and it tastes just as good. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Liz, thank, thank you so you much, so much. We'll see you in a week. Good to see you. Sounds good. All right. And we'll be right <laughs> back with more news, weather, fun, the whole thing.